Whenever I record multiple tracks here in GarageBand, the question I'm asked the most is what are these two icons here? Well, these are our record and our monitor icons, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about them. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And if you've been using GarageBand here for any length of time, you're probably familiar with this screen here, which is where we have our track view, and you can slide in and out over here on the side. And if you slide out, you can see your mute, your solo icon, your volume level, and an icon representing your track. But when you do multi-track, you get two more additional icons, and that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. Now, in order for these icons to actually be useful and make sense, we need to have a multi-channel interface going into GarageBand. So here I have my Steinberg UR12 set up via the Lightning to USB adapter into my iPad Air 2. And if you want to know about this setup and how to do multi-track recording here in GarageBand, I've got a heap of videos. They'll be linked up there and down in the description. So assuming that you do have a multi-channel interface with two or more things connected, what do the record and monitor lights actually do? Well, here's an example. Here's a track that I have prepared earlier. We've got two tracks here. We've got a guitar track and we've got a microphone track. Now in my interface here, my microphone is connected here to channel one and my guitar is connected to channel two. So here in the microphone, if we go into the microphone settings at the top here, we can see that we have channel one selected down the bottom here. So let's go back to our track view and check our guitar. We tap on guitar and then at the top here, we tap on the little amp icon and that is gonna take us in. Now to check this one, we tap on the little jack here in the top left and we can see here that this one's actually on input two. If we wanna change that, we can select that and put it on input one or input two. So we have two different tracks. They're on two different channels of our interface. So we've now got a microphone plugged in here and a guitar plugged in here. So what the record icons let us do is if we wanted to record the guitar and the microphone at the same time, we can actually tap on the record button for both. So let's tap on this one here and you can see that these are both now recording, but we will not be hearing the audio from either the guitar or the microphone coming back through our headphones because our monitor icons are not on. So what we can do is we can tap on both of these monitor icons and now we will actually hear the guitar and the microphone playback in our headphones. So that means when we're playing along, we'll get the audio of not only all of these tracks at the top here, but we'll get the audio of what we're playing back, which can be useful. Now, what if for some reason you didn't want to hear your vocals, you only wanted to hear your guitar? Well, no problem. We just turn the monitor off for the vocals by tapping on that monitor button. And now when we play back, all you're going to hear is all of these tracks plus your guitar, your vocals will not be coming through your monitor mix in your headphones as you're recording. Now, if you want to see a demo of multi-track recording and exactly how it works, I've got a video which is linked up there and down in the description will also be at the end of the video. So you can jump in and check that out. But just to quickly show you what this will look like, we can now select either of these tracks and hit the record button. And you will see very faintly that there's a little two in that record button, which means that we're going to be recording two tracks. Let's hit record now and see what it looks like. So there you can see it's recording on these two tracks. It's recording my voice because you can hear that through the microphone. I'm not playing guitar, so there's nothing being recorded on that track now, but it's a very cool way because we can actually view these tracks as we're recording. So if we've got other tracks that we want as reference tracks above it, we can actually see them rather than being in the microphone or the guitar amp view, we can be here on the screen. So this is a good tip to record on two different tracks. Even if you're only recording one thing, it means you can see your other reference reference tracks as you're going along, it does make recording and monitoring much easier. And there you go, both of those tracks have now been recorded and we can independently adjust either of these because they have been recorded through two separate independent channels here in GarageBand. Now, one final thing to keep in mind is that when we select a new track like this, the record will automatically follow us to that track and it will remove the record light from any other track. So if we did want to record on this track here, we would just need to put the record and the monitor, but make sure that you take off the monitor for any other tracks because otherwise you'll be hearing that back in your audio when you're not actually recording it. But if we then wanted to come in and record this track as well, we just tap on the record light there and the monitor light there. And now this track and this track will be the ones that will be recorded if we hit record. 
There you go. So if you've been wondering what the record and the monitor lights are all about, well, now you know. And if you've got any other comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below. There'll also be links to all of my videos about multi-track recording here in GarageBand. If you want to dive in and take a closer look, you can also check out the Steinberg UR12 and all the other interfaces that I recommend down there. And also over at studiolivetoday.com slash gear if you want to check out all of the gear that I use and recommend. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for sticking around. There are two more videos linked right down below that you can check out. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.